all-time nationwide series mark is 36 set in april of 2007 at talladega still got a lot of cleanup going on on the racetrack so it's going to be a lap or two yet yeah pace lights are on and the cars are still in single file saw danica patrick go through the screen and update on her day she is 14th right now one lap down And these drivers are all now just kind of looking around and seeing exactly who's around them, who's going to be the, what's going to be their best opportunity, because they know that it's going to take a partner for them to have any chance of getting themselves to the front in these last 10 laps. On board right there with Tony Stewart. A very good crowd today, the perfect weather. So the grandstand's looking real good for this NASCAR Nationwide Series event here at Daytona International Speedway. And they have definitely seen a different style of race. If you can't do the two-car two-step, you're not going anywhere but to the rear. No, we've been around a long time, seen a lot of different things take place here, but this has brought on something different. And uh, it's a combination between the repaving of the track and this new car. Uh, the dynamics of all of that works to, to make these two car tandems hook up and work and go fast. I also think it's something the drivers learned over the last few years. I mean, they've, they've seen how this worked. We saw Brad Keselowski, Carl Edwards pull it off for Keselowski to get his first win at Talladega. And, uh, you know, so I think it's something that they've learned how to do better. I, I think even if we went back to the old car and back maybe back to the old tracks, they would still have some form of this because once they learn it, you can't unlearn it. Cleanup still continues down in the turn one area, and uh, we're getting word now that they are going to stop the cars back on the backstretch because the uh, cleanup is taking a lot longer than everybody had uh, assumed in the beginning. We officially have nine laps to go as of right now. Yeah, there's no sense in burning up laps while they clean this mess up. It did drag a lot of grass on the racetrack, and you see uh, a lot of debris from some of the cars, so they want to get it all cleaned up good for the finish here. All right, so it'll give us a chance to step aside for just a few moments. Nine laps remaining here. We're under a red flag for the first time here in the Nationwide Series opener, our event presented by GoDaddy.com. Tomorrow, ESPN and the Year of the Quarterback chronicles the incredible career of Conridge Holloway, the first African-American to ever start a quarterback in the SEC. ESPN's Year of the Quarterback presents the color orange, the Conridge Holloway story. It's tomorrow night at 8 on ESPN. We are under a red flag situation here with nine laps remaining at the Daytona International Speedway. And uh, it's because of a pretty wicked accident involving the 39 of Josh Wise. And Dave Burns has him. Yeah, the good news is, Marty, that Josh walked out of the infield care center under his own power. How are you after that big hit? I'm all right. I'm going to be a little sore probably tomorrow. So uh, it's a bummer. You know, I think uh, my heart's hurt more than anything else. Just uh, the guys, these guys worked really hard to get this thing here. And, uh, you know, we were really in a position we were just trying to stay out of trouble. And uh, um, I think it was the 22 car got, got turned or cut off or something and down in the infield. And, you know, you try to get, get where you shoot through those holes or, or try to – you have to make a decision of where you're going to go. And, um, you know, it looked like I was going to be able to squeak, squeak around the outside there, but the hole closed up real quick. So uh, – that's it, that's it for us. Too bad for him. And it'll be it for uh, a little while for him. At the end of March, we'll see him again in Fontana in that seven car, guys. But nothing planned until then. All right. Thank you, Dave. And uh, better luck for Josh Wise down the road. There is Dale Earnhardt Jr. And across the uh, top of your screen, we'll put in the current running order as we get you up to speed with Nationwide Insurance. While we're watching the run order across the top of the screen. We'll tell you that there are right now officially 11 cars on the lead lap. There should be 12 when Casey Kane gets the uh, lucky dog. And of course, the man who's going to have a front row seat for what could be a very exciting last nine laps is that man right there, Dale Earnhardt Jr. And it was just 17 years ago exactly today that Dale Sr. won his record seventh and last nationwide race at Daytona. And Junior right behind him with six. Let's talk to him. He's our in-race reporter, DJ. Hey, Junior. Dale Jarrett, you have a copy? Sure. Hey, man. I know you're taking a little break there. Uh, been an eventful day. What I'd like to know is, you, have you seen any change with the new surface as this day has progressed? Not till just now. Is I don't know what they got going over in turn one, but 
All right, I know that uh, your position either on the inside or outside is going to be determined by what Boyer is going to do and what he's going to choose. H have you decided who you would rather be working with here, or is it going to be you and Boyer making a deal? He's going to the top, and uh, he may get back in front of me, but i got a partner and Michael behind me if I need that. But uh, we'll see what happens. Who knows, man? It's a uh, game. We don't really know what's going to happen. And we've all been talking about just how different this racing has been, something that we haven't seen here ever, really. What's it like from the driver's seat in trying to get paired up like this? you enjoy this, or you like the big packs better? I don't like to push somebody the whole time. It makes me a little nervous. But, uh, so I just kind of rode around today until it's time to go. We'll see what we do. We, I pushed a little bit for a little practice, but we should be good. Are these cars uh, pretty similar in, in trying to make all of this two-car work as what uh, you'll see with your cup car tomorrow? I ain't sure. Uh, it's about the same, I guess. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't really like, you, like the race the way it is, but uh, it's the way it is. So we'll just do the best we can. And it's real similar to what we'll see tomorrow. We'll probably see it done even better tomorrow. So. I think uh, 20, there's 43 cars out there. You'll see about 22 car packs. Okay, man. Good luck to you and whatever you choose and what partner you get here. Hopefully you can win this thing, buddy. Thank you. So our red flag situation ends at 5 minutes and 46 seconds, and they are refired and back under caution. And you know, uh, you heard Dr. Jerry Punch, and you even heard Dale Jr. talk about Michael Waltrip. They have finished one, two, six times at Daytona in all events, and Jr. has won four of those so don't be surprised if you see those two hook up again yeah that's not by accident that they do that finish one two these two guys really understand the draft and the effects of it and how to get paired with each other and make it work of course it was an emotional night last night for michael waltrip as uh, he came from second place on the very last lap to get around elliot sadler and to take the win, the first ever in the truck series for Michael, but exactly 10 years to the day that we lost Dale Sr. And he was very overcome in victory lane. Like Junior felt pretty confident that he had a couple options there because he feels good about having Michael push him, but it, you know, if Boyer gets up in front of him, uh, he'll just take that option too. So. He's got a lot of options ahead of him. Okay, let's talk about the restarts. We've noticed it takes time for these cars to spool up to speed. Let's check in with Tim Brewer at the Craftsman Tech Garage. Hey, Martin, during the week, we've changed this tapered spacer several times. But NASCAR, they couldn't get to the point to where they wanted to slow the cars down. So what they did, they increased the size of the tapered spacer, but they went back and put an old-style restrictor plate under it. What that does, the air flows really smooth on the tapered spacer, but when it hits this ledge on a restrictor plate, it causes a lot of reversion. When the guys get out of the throttle, it takes a long time to recover, but as well, when they're going through the gears, trying to get up to speed, it slows the cars down as well. Thank you, Tim, and you get a great view of it from both above and below there as Pace Car has got the field in tow once again. They're back on the back stretch. We now have eight to go. All right, let's talk about the Clint Boyer situation. He's going to restart on point. Let's listen in on the radio. What's the strategy? Well, it'll come down to what dance partner we got and how hard they can push us, my friend. Done a well of a job today. We appreciate it. We ain't done yet. We'll get it. Now, the big question is, I mean, you said it yourself, you'd rather be in that number two position like we saw last night where Michael Waltrip slingshots around. Well, I don't know. I, he's got a fast car, and, you know, what I like is Clint Boyer. He chooses that outside here, which looks like what he's going to do. He's going to have really good options. He can either get a good start and have Dale Jr. behind him, or he can stay up there and probably the best pusher we've seen all day in Trevor Bain push him to the win. Trevor Bain's going to restart in the fourth position. How about Goodyear? Tip of the hat to them, the official tire of NASCAR. Everything we've learned, making tires for one of racing's most grueling proving grounds, inspires what we roll into yours. Goodyear, more driven. I have to say they've done a good job with the tire here today. You know, we talked about uh, the guys that are changing positions on the track. How about the spotters up above us here in the press box area because there they are making their deals and every time they team up with another guy they got to go find that spotter because they can talk to him <laughs> side by side 